want to express my deep thank you to Yeshiva Bnei Tzvi for uh, hosting us. The uh, subjects we're going to discuss today there are many. The first one, we all are praying here for the Chatufim, for the three uh, missing young people that uh, just disappear. Yesterday I met a friend from Herzliya and was a bothering some to hear that he expressed indifference for that. So it will be part of our discussion in this sugiya. Um, what exactly happened and how the interaction between the caring and loss of someone and the caring for each other. Another subject that we're going to discuss today is the life after death. Uh, in different phases, but for sure there are many, since it's Agareta, we are on page 11, three lines from the top of the page. Amarav Yuda Amarav, kol amar iv atzmo bishne re'avon, nitzal mimita meshuna. Rav Yuda tells us that anyone who has food for himself, but nevertheless, starves himself in years of famine. He will save from an unusual death. And Rashi tells us that um, it's all kind of weird death, God forbid, that should never happen to anyone. Um, those um, expression of attribute, measure for measure, midah keneged midah, since a person have the opportunity to live in a lavish manner, and yet he uh, expressed his sorrow with the others. So um, the nature, as you have said, will not control him. We all know the Midrashic story, which based on the Torah about Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, who lived in all the conveniences of the house of Pharaoh, yet he left the house in order to help his brother. Shnei Mar, they said in the book of Eyob, chapter 5, Beraav padcha Hashem mimavet. Meraav mi baile el achi kamar besachar shemariv atzmo bishne ravon itzol mitam mishuna. Since a person care for others, he will be saved from the unusual death. Um, in other words, do not derive joy when you see the tzibur, when you see others in the expressing their sorrow. Um, the um, Reish Lakish add to that and he said, Amar Reish Lakish, asur le'adam l'shamesh mishato b'shne ra'avon. So he said that the pers a person should avoid himself uh, during the year of famine from um, um, sexual relations. Sh'nema ul Yosef yulad shne banim b'terem shavtavo shnat ha'ra'av. So, uh, here there are several avenues. There is uh, one way to say that um, um, Yosef, um, Joseph, the biblical Joseph, um, uh, have those sons before the year of, of the um, famine. In other words, when it, at this time of famine, he tried to avoid himself. That's one way. For sure, there are other ways. Um, we have, it, uh, for example, Tosfot here said that it's only Midat Hasidut, it's only in a way that the um, pious people behave. Um, Ritva said that it's a total issue. It's almost like the manners between uh, a, um, a Lithuanian and a, uh, some pious Hasidim. Uh, the Ran uh, and the Beit Yosef said that um, we have to differentiate between the time of uh, receiving the Torah and before and after. But Tana Hasuchei Banim Mishamshim Itotem Beshnei Ravon. So here we see that people who have no children, they're allowed to do that. Uh, there is a Mishnah Bura here in Tafkuf Ein Dalet that said something that is very mind-boggling. Um, let me read it from the text. He said... So the Mishnah tells us here that uh, if a person have a, uh, 
sons that um, go astray, he allowed even to go there. Again, this is something that it's fascinating. Tanu Rabbanan. בזמן שישראל שרויים בצער ופירש אחד מהם, באים על אחרי השרת שמלווים לו אדם, מניחים לו ידיהם על ראשו ואומרים פלוני זה שפירש מן הציבור על ידי נחמת ציבור. So, we know that there is a concept of הלכות בית הכיסא, התכבדו מכובדים. So the whole idea is that we don't hold ourselves in an arrogant matter that we have two משמשים, but the idea is that there are two entities around the person, כי מלאכה וצווה לך, we use it. when we ask the dead to the grave. So since there are two entities, one on the right side, one on the left side, um, so they also be the one who testified against the person. So in other words, if a person enjoy a, a as we say, lavish life while others uh, struggle, so it will be measure for measure the same way. איזיה 22, והנה ששון ושמחה רוגו בקר וצאן שחור, תאכול בשר ושתות יין, אכול ושתור ובאחר נמות. So, a person said, I don't care when others, um, like we mentioned the fellow from Mertzeria, he said, I don't care, uh, I'm going home and I have a good life, etc., etc. So they said it will be measure for measure. In my time in the army, they throw him out. They call it in the Israeli culture, I think you know it nowadays, sociomat, right? But anyway, מה כתיב בשוי, what it's written after that, ונגלה באוזני השם צבקות עם מכופר העוון הזה, לכם עד תמותון. So it's like the wicked people, they think that never anything happened to them. And it's a famous Gemara in Yomar that we study on page 86, that um, for Hilul Hashem, the secretion of God's name is no act of simple teshuva. Um, um, the atonements and the, the suffering is uh, all... depend upon the final death. So in other words, this is one of the severe, the severest um, punishment. Ad kan midat benonim, aval midat rishayim, maktiv, etayu ekha yain vlisbea shechar vaya kaze yom machar. Maktiv batrei atzadik azav, venish sam alev ki mpnei araa nesaf atzadik. So the Rashi said it two explanations. One, it's because he should not, the righteous person should not see the sorrow of others. or in order for him not to pray for others. A person should participate with others with the time of sorrow. It's said about Moses in Shemot 17, that even he have a heavy hand, they put a stone, and 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 you see nowadays here in this country a lot of rebels, right? You see a lot of uh, righteous uh, rabbis that they have a lot of mishamshim. Moshe Rabbein doesn't need the, but it shows you the greatness of him. That kach amar Moshe oil v'Yisrael shuv mitzar afoni yem mitzar. So since everyone is in the uh, sorrow, I want to be part of that. Um, he lift up his hand to pray and um, and he will just join with them, with the sorrow. So one who's um, um, uh, separating himself, uh, um, uh, non-separating himself, in other words, he is um, distressed together with the community, meriting the consolation with the community. person said, who will testify, who tells that I, I did it? אבני ביתו של אדם וקורות ביתו של אדם עדים בו. They say that they, um, they, a person's uh, house and beams, which means like the stone around the house. So that's uh, fascinating because they said in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, כי אבן מכיר תזעך וחפיס מעץ יעננה, which means that there are those beams and stones from the wall. They, in a way, give a testimony, which again, This little Kabbalistic, the whole concept that the immovable object has the capability to testify. This is the, the famous line in Tehillim 91, that the person has two entities, we call it in a lucid way, angels, but it's the two entities that ask for the person, Rabbi Chidka Omer, Nishmato Shel Adam Yila Adam. A person's soul is testified about He is past behavior, past life. Shenemar, they said in the book of Micah, chapter 7, 
מי שחייב את חלקך שמור פתחי פיך, ויש אומרים הרב של אדם מדים בו, שנאמר אתם מדיין עם השם. So basically there's a different views how you take the, the body of the persons, but the idea is that it's all an um, act of testified. אל אמונה ואין עוול. זה סדר דברים, צ'פטר 32. אל אמונה, כשם שנפרעים מן הרשעים לעולם הבא, אפילו על עבירה קלה שהם עושים, כך נפרעים מן הצדיקים בעולם הזה על עבירה קלה שהם עושים, ואין עוול. כשם שמשלמים שכר לצדיקים לעולם הבא, אפילו על מצווה קלה שעושים, כך משלמים שכר לרשעים בעולם הזה, אפילו על מצווה קלה שהם עושים. So this is a concept that uh, some people misconstrue. Uh, we hold that uh, there is no reward in this world and a good example I think for those who know is my brother-in-law of Yoshua so if you look at the last um, year of his life he suffered physical pain so here there is a it's called Sameach B'Yisurin so it's a other way of the concept that people in, uh, interpreted the life they see you walk outside you see people Uh, the way that they drive a car, the way that they leave their homes, and you think, uh, how come the righteous people do not have all those uh, things? So they, they, that's the concept of uh, reward and punishment, the difference between afterlife and this transient life. Tzadik ve'rashavu b'sharat amru, b'sharat p'shtirato shel adam levet olamo kol ma'asav niftarim lefanav. V'omrim lo kach v'kach asidam makom ploni. So this is one of the frightening texts. that said that um, every single act, Marsha said, it creates in our lucid language uh, an angel, but it's basically entities that come and um, give in that uh, rewind time after burial, uh, they, uh, they tell us um, an expression of a person's life. And he says, he says, he signed up for that, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, ולא עוד אלא שמצדיק עליו את הדין ואומר להם יפה דנתוני לקיים מה שנאמר למען תצדק בדבריך. So it's not only the person accepted but he is also justifying the judgment. Now so far we have a discussion in regards to individual fast day, תענית יחיד. So now we speak about general fast day. If someone accepts upon himself a fast, if that's a proper or not. אמר שמואל כל היושב בתענית נקרא חוטא. Judaism is different from other religion. Other religion, uh, at least some of them encourage um, act of uh, self-relegation and self-suffering, um, etc. In particular Buddhism, in Judaism we discourage um, this act, we encourage uh, acting of increased study Torah, but not uh, act of uh, self-suffering. סבר כי הייתה נדתניה רבי אלעזר כפר ברבי אומר מה תלמוד לומר וכיפר עליו מאשר חטא על הנפש וכי איזה נפש חטא זה אלה שציר עצמו מן העין. So we know that the biblical text about the Nazirite. Here they said that um, um, based on Gemara and Horayot, uh, page 10, they said that it's nothing wrong for a person to drive joy from this world. Um, the only Tosfot added to that and he said that um, It has to be in a proper way, which means if it's a fence to avoid yourself from committing a sin, that's different. But Mesilash Shacharim, the path of the righteous, in chapter 13, he said that, again, there is a difference between um, something that is a necessity of daily life, like food, like water, like a basic, versus something that is extravagant, motarot, more than the needs. So it's a two different categories. If you talk about Nezirai, that he avoided himself from wine, he's considering a sinner. If someone is avoiding himself from everything, how much so? That's one view. So as we said, that's the view of Shmuel. There's another view of Rabbi Lazar, who says, It's called Kadosh. It's called Kadosh, it's called Kadosh, it's called Kadosh. So he holds that he's a person considering and holy. based on the book of Numbers chapter 6. It said that this Nazirite, he basically by increasing the hair, he uh, increasing the level of uh, um, spirituality. So that's another view. does possess an element of sanctity, but it does not refer to the Nazirite himself. 
ול רבי אלעזר הנקרא חוטא, קודם רבי אלעזר את קונסילוינג סינו, שעושה ההוא דסאיב נפשי, it's the play to Nazirait who render himself ritually impure by coming into contact with the dead body, an act that is prohibited for him. So they said, מי אמר רבי אלעזר האחי? ואמר רבי אלעזר, לעולם יעמוד אדם עצמו. רבי אלעזר said that a person should always consider himself. 11b, כאילו קדוש שרוי בתוך מאב, as though a sacred object is immersed in his bowl. So Rashi said here, כאילו כל מאב קדוש ואסור להכחישן, דאחי משמע בגברך קדוש, כלומר דאסור להתענות. So here I'm using uh, my book on Rashi. Basically, if you look at the way the um, Rashi brought here, is based on the Marsha, that said that there is a two entities. One we call um, sanctified of food, which means a person has an obligation um, to eat, but by the same token he needs to sanctify the food, which is like the righteous people used to say that it's a spark of um, souls or spirituality within the food, and by dedicating the, the meal in order to serve God better, That's the idea. Shneemar bekerbecha kadosh velo avo beir. You see that they, uh, uh, like my grandfather and the great grandfather, the Atera uh, Tzvi, Tzvi from Zidichov, he wrote extensively about the importance of um, sanctification of the food. So here, this is basically contradicted to what uh, Rabbi Lazar said that if a person is staying in the fast, it's considering a, a, a holy. We have to differentiate between the situation that the body can take that act or not. So if a person not be able to take it and he anyway take it upon himself, it's considered a sinner. So, so far we see two different avenues. We see the first avenue of Shemuel, that he said that the person considering a sinner. We see that Rabbi Lazar, that said that he's considering Kadosh. Now we see the third view, which is Reish Lakish, Amar Nikra Chassid. It's considering a pious person. Shneemar, Gomel Nafsho Ish Chassid, Vo'over Shero. That's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. They say that a person who avoids himself from this type of food is considering a pious person. So, um, um, you see a lot in the Hasidic writings about people who are 40 days with the... Um, uh, point themselves with, uh, yes, uh, going in the snow, you see people that go to the righteous people, the graveside. We say that study to rights above all of that. So all those ideas apply to people who cannot um, peacefully study Torah and increase the level of study Torah. Then you go to those ideas. But the first and foremost and the best, as we said many times, is what we are doing is study Torah. Marav Sheshet, hai bayrav, בר ברב דיאטיב בתעניתא לחול כלבה לשירותי. So here is a very strong statement. He said that a person that um, he, he bar ברב, meaning he can study Torah, and instead what they do is, um, um, it's not גזירות דה רבנן, he just take upon himself and it's ביטול Torah, he's not study Torah. So the study, it's um, um, reduce or total now because of those act of fasts, and that he uses term like lechul kabad shirute. He says that the 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 fast has, uh, has let the dog eat his portion, since his fast weakens him and prevent him from study Torah. It is considered as though as a dog ate his meal, as the student derived no benefit from it. Now we go to the new avenue, so just one word of introduction. We're going to speak now the difference between Tanit Sibur and Tanit Yachid. When we speak about Tanit Sibur and the Chumrot is one thing, and Tanit Yachid, when we speak about the Tzura, special entity, so Tanit Yachid is start in the morning, which means in that sense a person allows Sicha and all the other uh, prohibitions that usually are prohibited in those first days, versus Tanit Sibur, which is a public first day, So you don't eat from the eve of the fast, for example, Tisha B'Av, including the five Inuyim 
the five acts of prohibition, prohibition such as eating, drinking, anointing the body, uh, wearing a leather shoe or uh, relations. So the whole idea, Tosfot explains that in those days, uh, especially, we have to know the definition of Babylon, but in, it's, it was a constant rain, and therefore it's not applicable. That's based the same Rashi, Psachim 54, said the same idea. Harosh, in Siman Tet, he said, Piresh Rabbi Aviyah, Lefi Shein Sham Nasi, because it wasn't the leader at that time. He bring Ayam Yerushalmi, and he bring the Ozarua, that said, Yachid Rochetz Betani Otelu, Bal Nefesh Yechol Achmir. Again, you have to read it there in the Rosh Siman Tet. Amar Rabbi Yimya Barama, Amar El Shakish, En Tamid Chacham Rasha Lisheh Betanit, Mipnei Shememaet Bimlechet Shamayim. Imagine if you have a... Um, teacher in school or other Torah scholars that uh, due to, to his fast he reduces the heavenly uh, service. He cannot teach, uh, for example, Malam Deity no Kot. He's not teaching the children, etc. So he has what you call Achrayut, Melechet Shemaim. He has the responsibility of teaching and by act of fasting he will not be able to function properly. So that's a um, a in strong opposition. The Magen Avraham said that in, in Tafku final, if he said instead, if he uh, do act of uh, again, uh, self search and, uh, and, um, and increase the Torah and Tshuva, that's different, but not the act of S itself. Ochlim v'shotim mishecha shecha. They said that uh, they eat and drink um, um, from the Da, um, and which means. Um, the first set of fast they eat and drink from after dark and begin fasting in the morning. It's, um, it's a famous story about the Taz. The Taz was the son-in-law of the Bach. And um, it's a well-known story that he took his father-in-law to Din Torah, which is, uh, was unprecedented at that time. And the story is, you know the story, right? That he is, um, you know, his um, father-in-law, the Bach, uh, the first years he had more wealth, so he used to give him a basar bakar. How do you say it? Like like um, heavy meat, like beef, <laughs> and then he changed it to chicken. So he took him to the Torah. How come his in-law used to give him a very high um, level of foods, and everyone was uh, amazed? And he explains that he was able to study better and now he has less strength. Um, and they ask, how come giant like you, like the Taz, doing that to the Bach? You know, it's, so he explains that he believed in afterlife, and he believed that in the bed in Shalmala, in heavenly court, they will ask, how come you know, the son-in-law, it was a commitment, and the son-in-law supposed to eat better and study better. And it was a bed in session, and they said that he is... Uh, free of blame, and Reb Shalom Shvadron have a lot of, it's a log mahalach over that. Anyway, Amar Reb Zera Maravuna, Yachid Shekibel Lav Ta'anit, Afilo Achal Veshta Kol Laila, Lemochorat, Umitpalel Tfilat Ta'anit. So, just word of introduction, part of our prayer session, it's a prayer called Aneinu. And in that Aneinu Hashem Aneinu, we don't say it in every first day, only if a person accepts upon himself in advance, that's called Tanit Yachid, so he can do it. So he said, So the Mitpalel Mitpalel Shel Tanit. So that's uh, different. Um, if he slept in his fast, which means he continued fasting through the night, he does not pray the prayer of the fast the next morning. Amar Rabbi Yosef, Maikra Savar Avuna, Svir Alei, En Mitanin Lishaot. So Rashi explained here, כלומר, היידק אמר למחר הם פעלים תפילת תענית, לכך אינו מתפלל דקר. אבל התענית זה אינו קבלה. So there are two points here in Rashi, I elaborate on that a lot. But basically the question is, what exactly happened during the night? And I urge you to read, because it's extensive reading. עודים במטענים לשעות, במטענים לשעות אינו מתפלל תפילת תענית. Because it's not considering such a חשובה. In that sense. So Abai explained in the third avenue, Amar Leh Abayel, Olam Kasev Aravun, Amitanim Lishot. Amitanel Lishot, Mpelet Filatanit. Say Aneinu. Vishaneach Adika Shod Lelad, Lo Kabila Lemikara. 
which means again, the question is when exactly in Imlach, when exactly he uh, switched, changed the avenue and didn't eat, uh, when exactly accept upon himself. So, Mauk Vaikla Leginzak, in the name of a place, Baumi name it and So they ask him, do, um, do one fast four hours or do not fast four hours? So Ma'ukva said, Lo He doesn't have an answer readily available. Um, so they ask him another question. Can kanim shul nochrim asurim or mutarim? They ask him, Are clay jars that belong to an Anjus, which have been used for uh, storing wine, permanently prohibited, or they can be rendered permitted? Is there any way to use it? So Lo the same story. He doesn't have any answer. What did uh, Moshe Rabbeinu serve all the seven days of inauguration as an acting uh, Kohen when Aharon and his sons were initiated into the priesthood? Again, Azrib Shel Bet Midrasha. So he went to the Bet Midrasha. 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 So they answer all these questions. They said first, the number one, the, this, uh, because you see, it's the three questions. So they said, the, uh, fast, you can fast uh, for hours. So number two, they ask him about the Tani prayer. So they said, make the prayer of the fast. And about the um, non-Jews that are permitted using the, the uh, utensils after they have been used all the 12 months. And what uh, Moses served all the seven days of inauguration, so they said it's in a white clock. Rav Kahana Matne bechaluk lavan shen lo imra. He hold that he will serve Moshe Rabbeinu serve with a white clock that does not have a hem. And again, Rashi here have a malach in kilomar, and um, Rashi tells us that safa metagmina imra kilomar tachuv ayam machut. So. Uh, I think that the Bach erased the Klomar, but um, I have to read more in the book because I explain all the Ma'alachi in Rashi. So the first one, Shulchan Aruch Or 574. In time of famine, one should eat less and allow himself to go hungry, by basically uh, the way that Rav Yudah teaches. Furthermore, it is prohibited to engage in marital relations during the famine, except the night of the wife ritually immerse herself. However, couples who are as yet without children, the main gauge of relation, even the year of famine. The Rema are much lenient in that uh, in Shavit Shuva um, and um, said that um, the, um, it's all apply only when there's a serious uh, fear of calamity in the community. Um, one who separates himself from the community at the time of distress, when it is the power to help the community, in some ways will not marry to see the eventual consolation. That's the Magen Avraham. Uh, conversely, whoever participates in the community suffering will merit seeing its consolation. And that's Shulchan Aruch Horachayim 574. Um, we talk about the different act of um, di- a person distress himself. So, Shulchan Aruch or Achaim 571 said that um, one who observes a fast when he is able to do so without causing himself bodily harm is considered sacred. However, one does, does so when he is weak or ill is called a sinner. Mm-hmm. That's basically the way Rabbi Lazar. And we add to that that uh, it is prohibited for a Torah scholar to accept a fast upon himself as it diminishes his capacity to study Torah or to teach Torah. However, if the entire community is fasting, he should do so as well, so he's not separate himself from the community. Whoever uh, spends all his time studying Torah is called a Torah scholar for the purpose of this halacha, even in nowadays. That's in Magen Avram. Teachers of school children's Melamdeti Nokot are also considered a Torah scholar, as they explicitly state in the Talmud Yerushalmi, and the Shulchan Aruch Chaim 571 elaborate on that um, a lot. Now we speak about individual. Yachid Shekibel Alav Ta'anit. So Shulchan Aruch Chaim 575 
with regard to one who took a fast upon himself in the afternoon service of the previous day, he is permitted to eat during the entire night. Similarly, if one commits to fast for several days in a row, he is permitted to eat and drink on each of the intervening nights. Uh, the uh, Rema said that each of these days, one who committed himself to fast, he inserts the Anenu prayer, which we discussed during the Shiur, uh, in the afternoon Amida. But again, more on that is the Shulchan Aruch Chaim 575. Shuloim, Malachai, 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 Shuloim, Malachai,